Hi everyone. Okay, I'm sitting here with Lynn Stewart, as we know, as an established actress, and we were having a discussion about, um, you know, what to say and not say in the environment of entertainment. Uh, I think this is a very valuable thing to talk about because it, I know it sounds kind of high school-y about that you have to be careful about what you say in front of other people. Well, it really kind of rings true with the entertainment world as well. It's a very small circle and again, it doesn't matter whether you're in New York or LA or the Midwest, it really doesn't matter. Word travels if you're a pain in the ass to work with. Word travels if you badmouth someone. Um, so I'm going to turn it over to Lynn, and Lynn's going to give us some tips. Well, that's exactly what I was going to say. Oh, sorry. <laughs> no, that's okay. I mean, I thought that was put just, just beautifully. Um, I work with a lot of writers and a lot of actors, and because uh, I came from a company, The Groundlings, and there's many award-winning uh, writers that came from the Groundlings. There's people who won awards <coughs> for Cheers and for the Ellen Show. And uh, I notice about writers that say another writer says something bad about a friend, that when that friend gets in a position to hire him, he won't, and it'll be such a joy and power uh, that he can not hire that person that talked bad about him. So don't be the person that talks bad about a writer, because you never know when they're going to be a writer-producer and in the position of hiring you as a writer or as an actor. Right. And also be, be a pleasant person to work with. Don't be... Can I say asshole? Don't be an asshole, uh, because I've heard I've heard people, uh, casting directors and people in a position of hiring say, and, and I'm just making this name up, uh, like, oh, we could use Judy for that. Ooh, but then we'd have to be with Judy all week. No, no, let's not yeah. work with Judy. Be somebody that people want to work with. Mm -hmm. Be somebody who's friendly, and not a sour and be nice to people mm -hmm. because you never know when that person in your acting workshop is going to turn into a, a writer producer that could be in a position of, of hiring you yeah. and and I I have a friend Tim Stack who has hired me for uh, well everything he's ever been in a uh, two cable shows a uh, son of the beach and uh, Nightstand, and I, I worked for him on Raising Hope, and he's trying to get me into the Miller so far. I haven't got a part of it, but it's not because he hasn't called me in. And we're really good friends, and he loves working with me. And be that person that people love yeah. to work with. I think that's true, guys, for any any avenue of entertainment, um, whether it's music business or it's acting. It really doesn't matter. Um, it's all that somebody doesn't want to be around a pain in the ass. Um, I've seen bands that had huge record deals, and after one record, nobody could stand them, and so they got shelved and they got tossed away. Right. Um, just don't be a big pain in the ass. Um, try to be mature about things and just pleasant. Um, so, lesson to the wise. Lesson to the wise. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, um, realize that the friendships that you make like us, you know, or anybody, um, you never know if you're going to be in that avenue forever. And so when you drop out, you, you end up with some really good friends. So thanks, guys, and hope this helps. And remember, put on your happy face uh, no matter what the circumstance, <laughs> and people will be happy to be around you and rehire you. Thanks, guys.